guys, how's it going? In this video, I will be showing you how to install the 3D effects tools onto your VM in PCM. And I am assuming that you have all these downloaded, all three of these folders, PCM, ROMs, yada yada. Download them from my Dropbox. It's in the link in the description below this video. And once you do, this over. And once you do have those downloaded, click on CD-ROM and navigate to Win98 drivers that you downloaded and you're going to load this disk image. And I will put it into full screen for you. There you go. And just go to my computer Double click that and and this should appear. You should see Voodoo 3TM in the D drive. So double click that and go to I setup and the installation wizard should start. And it's just preparing to install. And from here, just do as it says. Of course, we have to accept, accept, do, 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 install, wait for it, patience, 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 you guys should really see, you, you guys should see, games especially quake 2 oh man quake 2 you gotta see what quake 2 looks like when all the apis are loaded once we install this uh software it looks amazing it uses the opengl and glide apis it's really awesome and in a future video, I'll get to that. I'll be installing Quake in the next video. And I'll be demonstrating to you guys how it works. And everything should be installed. Just onto this and you should see this in the lower right hand corner 3d effects tools just double click that and then and then in this control panel you'll see a whole bunch of uh a whole bunch of settings direct 3d and OpenGL. you know 3d filter quality alpha blending level of detail by z buffer yada 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 and then you have OpenGL and Glide, these APIs, 3D filter quality, alpha blending, the Glide splash screen, pretty cool, depth perception. I don't know if Quake 2 uses this as well. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure Quake 2, Quake 2 does use these two. Um, but yeah. And... I will show you guys something a little interesting. The, the desktop, the gamma settings, and stuff like that. These are interesting because watch the direct for direct 3D 3D applications, you can adjust the gamma settings. And a, a, any application that supports uh, direct 3D will will be affected by this. It's pretty awesome. And and put the glide and OpenGL, same thing. Give a small demonst demonstration. Ah. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? It's not going too bright. And I'm going to load a bitmap to see how cool it is. Guess which one I'm going to load. You guessed it. Quake 3. And let's just try something direct 3D. Let's see if it... Uh, Supports. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the Direct 3D um, setting will work on Quake. On Quake 3. 
anyway. I'm going to have to give it a try and quick too. But same thing with Glide and OpenGL. Look at that. But yeah, that, that's it for this video. I mean, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free um, to ask them. Leave them. And be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Let's apply this. And okay. Okay. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.